And it's working now. <laughs> All right. Uh, if if we are in fact live now, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are having experiencing some Shelton difficulties tonight. We can't find Shelton. It's, this might be like the hangover. We might need to go find him or whatever. But but I am live now. I can see Jed Miller. What's up? I can, I can see people checking in now. We tried to go live a minute ago and it didn't work. Matt, what's up? Uh, to go live a minute ago and that didn't work. Um, good evening, folks, folks, folks. Um, thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you guys. You're good people. And uh, I'm, I'm operating off a phone tonight. Uh, and so uh, uh, we're having some technical difficulties. As I, Again, as I said, we're having some Shelton difficulties. Um, uh, it's, it's just been been tough yes we're in the, we're in all the all the the typical accoutrement mall uh yes and uh what i have in front of me is uh this uh remington 700 in this uh magpul stock which is super nice stock and i was going to put a, um, a scope base on it but i didn't have a bipod and then i just <laughs> turned this side you know, to the side 90 degrees and the rifle will stand up by itself so so I can I can work on. I was gonna do that while I, while you guys were watching tonight, but we've had to do this. Uh, <laughs> I can I can kind of see the questions of the you know two two or three at a time. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks again for for for, for checking in. Oh, <laughs> this is the hotel and. <laughs> you take it? I, I, I can't. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a call. This was hello. <laughs> Good, how are you? You might want to take over. <clears throat> All yes, right. ma'am. What's up, guys? Fill in. Thomas? Thomas? What'd you think? Was it was it interesting? I thought it was a pretty uh, a pretty good episode. I enjoyed the conversation, but I think if you were here and heard his lecture as well. It would have been a great supplement. <laughs> this is my ZZ Top riding beard. I can't. I can't go on this epic motorcycle journey with uh, a clean-shaven face. All right, you ready? <laughs> Thank you, Nate. <laughs> well, it was good to have a wingman around. Um, so uh, that was uh, the hotel calling from my uh, Thunder Ranch class. We're, we're going to go on this motorcycle trip, and then uh, I put up. Uh, 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 another video a minute ago it'll be live in a second uh, after it processes or whatever uh, but then uh, you can see the motorcycle I went out there with the with the camera the action cam and kind of showed you what we were dealing with there but the motorcycle trip is going to be a great time we leave the 14th we'll be over at downtown tactical on the 14th uh, doing a meet and greet and live feed and all that stuff so if you want to come over and meet meet the crew me and don and nate and the, and the crew from downtown tactical which micah and, and graham great great people good friends uh um micah just did the instructor class and stuff and just just all around all around good stuff and good people and we'll be over there the 14th and then uh, we'll arrive in Sturgis the 16th. The class, the classes are 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever that Saturday through Tuesday is. And uh, there's still openings in those classes in Sturgis. And then uh, on, the, on the 22nd, we take off in earnest on our trip. And um, we'd like to meet you guys out and about along the way and all that. And, uh, you know, we have some various meet and greets set up like at uh, NSR Tactical and Chino down at uh, the Tactical Medic, uh, down in Mesa, Arizona, up in uh, McMinnville, Oregon, at, um, at TJ's Gun Sales. That's where Hoss USMC will probably be around if you want to rub his beard. Um, but uh, just, uh, you know, just traveling around and, and uh, talking to good folks. We're going to do interviews with uh, Ken Hagerthorne, uh, who should need no introduction? Uh, uh, Johnny Strong, who was in this, the dude that shot me in the in the hand and in the face, and Daylight's in, but was in Black Hawk Down and Fast and Furious One and uh, Sinners of Saints and a bunch of other stuff. And uh, let's see what Paul Markle. We're gonna go by there. Um, we're gonna be taking the instructor class there at uh, uh, Thunder Ranch, but 
I would assume that Nate is going to sneak off at some point with Heidi and do a podcast with her. Probably by the time we get out of there, a podcast with Clint, if we can settle his ass down for a minute and do it. Um, gosh, what else, man? I mean, I, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Bunch, bunch of stuff, bunch of cool people and a bunch of uh, cool scenery for us to ride through. We're going to do the Rockies. We're going to do the deserts. We're going to do the, the dry. We're going to do the wet. We're going to do the ocean. We're going to do all of it. And, uh, and uh, we really hope to have a, a great time. What's your dream gun and dream bike? Um, I don't know. <laughs> dream gun is the one I have when I need it. And the dream bike is the one that never breaks down. I don't think either one of them exists. Um, but, um, uh, uh, so, uh, our podcasts, if you guys, you know, like, I understand that there are people that don't listen to podcasts because you have like a real short commute to work or you don't have a lot of time to kill, you know, like busy, like busy hand stuff, but you can still listen. But if you drive a forklift or, or if you, um, if you, uh, um, uh, you know, have a long commute to work or whatever the case may be podcasts are, are a great way for you to, to enrich your life instead of listening to, to music or, or, I mean, I like, I like talk radio and I like, uh, listen to comedy and stuff like that while I'm traveling, but, but podcasts are a way to enrich your life and, uh, audio books are the same thing. And, but podcasts are typically free. We, we are now on Spotify. We were on iTunes and other places and and Liberty TV, you can direct download there. But uh, now we're on Spotify. Shelton got that hooked up. Uh, so appreciate you on that, Shelton. Are you going to turn all that shit on back there? So uh, we're going to, at some point, this thing is probably going to switch from my phone, which I'm using right now, to the big camera. And uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, but uh, uh, Eric Clanton was just going from here up here. I don't know who Eric Clanton was, who Eric Clanton is. Somebody just said Eric Clanton got got probation for cracking somebody's skull. I'll Google it. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, if you if you've missed a podcast, the two uh, the two most talked about podcasts so far have been the one with Pat McNamara, which you get at Delta Guy or Ross, snap into a Slim Jim, and Marilyn, who is you know the. I don't know what to call her. The, she's the shop manager. I, whatever, whatever a, a other boss is, she is the other boss here at Tidal Response. And uh, in her, um, her uh, uh, podcast has gotten the most dramatic reactions. Yeah. Um, Mesa, we're doing Eric. We're doing classes are in Marana. We're doing a meet and greet in Mesa. At, at, the, at the tactical medic at the tactical medic you guys might have seen this on uh, Instagram I put it on Facebook a video with this thing uh, this thing's pretty cool Shoot, shooting blanks shooting blanks that's it so uh, this is the pepper ball uh, life light so take this thing out of the back that's the magazine you take these inert <laughs> pellets, five of those bad boys go in here. One, two, three, four, five. So the, the most common question I got was, is this thing reloadable? It is. It is reloadable. This thing is neat. This is like, I, I wish I had a studio audience tonight because somebody get be getting fucking fired up. Um, so... That's how you put the pepper balls in. The gas goes in up here. That's why I shot the rest of the gas out so it wasn't in the way. So, come out of there. So, there's the case. I, uh, I got the case cold. That's why it wouldn't slide out. So if you let all the if you let all the air out, then wait a few minutes for it to warm up and get you CO2 drop in there. And then you twist this thing back down. And this thing is actually pretty damn neat. Now uh, like guys were, were, were posting stuff like on the video, like, oh, that wouldn't stop an attacker or whatever bullshit. And people, I, here's what I like. People say, I, I sprayed a guy pepper spray that had no effect. Bullshit. People close their eyes. 
And yeah, like if you close your eyes and you have trouble breathing and snot's running out your nose, can you still swing your arms and fight? Yeah, of course you can. Pepper spray is not like you spray them and they crumple into a ball. That's not how pepper spray works. Pepper spray is a great tool. One of my favorites from my days in law enforcement. Uh, but if they can't see you, it's hard to find you. So if you spray them and move, they'll run where you were, not where you are. That's why movement is so critical. Uh, but they were like making poo-poo on this thing. And so... Uh, I'm not saying, and it's got a, a safety, this this uh, pin will go through right there, like that, so no problems. And then after you do the safety, there's another safety, a safety safety, this slides forward to expose the red button. Now before you do that, on the, uh, on the top, there's a flashlight. So this thing, if you're walking your dog, or whatever the case may be, it's got a flashlight on it. When you move the red, when you move the red button, I mean, move the cover off the red button, the laser comes on. So if you can't, can you see the laser? Oh, I'm gonna turn the light off. So the laser comes on. You can, it's plainly visible out here, trust me. And so then you press the button to set this thing off. You gotta press it really hard for the first one because you're because you're basically puncturing the CO2. But this thing, I'm, I'm not saying that you should pick it for your your most your your first or your best line of defense but if you're walking your dog and another dog comes up or something like that i see i see a use for this thing right off the bat it's a flashlight it's got a laser on it Laser, lasers are intimidating to folks whether you think so or not lasers are intimidating to folks and uh, and for people that don't want to carry a gun or whatever this like i i i've seen all of the crap all the, the stun guns and all the bullshit uh, I'm telling you, this is actually pretty damn legitimate. And people are like, oh, that would not stop somebody or whatever. You're not really trying to stop somebody. You're trying to stop, make somebody leave you alone. Um, and the balls hurt when they hit. And if I had a studio audience here tonight, I would, I would show you that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get one of you guys to, to volunteer for a pepper. Okay. Let me here, get Bob. No, like I want, I want to. I, we'll get. I'll find one of you guys, a real volunteer. It wants to take five of these pepper ball rounds, and I'll give you a fighting pistol class. I'll give you a, if you already had fighting pistol. I'll give you, I'll give you, a, give you a two-day class. If you'll take five, five rounds of these, let me put it on video. Uh, send me a, a, a email in the subject line. Put pepper ball dummy, and I'll pick somebody to, I'll pick somebody out of there. Don't be a dick. So, the life light from pepper ball, and uh, and on their Instagram they had forty-eight, they had forty-eight followers. And then I tagged them in the video. The video had got like 11,000 views. And then they had like 150 followers. So I tripled their followers. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, I, I get, you can ask these guys. I get mail crap all the time. Are we on the big camera yet? About to be. Uh, we, I get mailed crap all the time. And, and most of the time, it does not impress me. I'm going to go ahead and let the gas out. And then I'll let it uh, I'll let it warm up and take the take the CO2 out later, but um, I get mail crap all the time and I'm wholly unimpressed with stuff. And when the guy offered to send this, I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm, okay, go ahead and send it. And I, I've been playing with it and I've been I, I even took like Bane and my daughter out like watch this thing because it's it's actually pretty pretty cool pretty cool things pretty pretty legit. It's so legit, it should not seek alternate employ employment. Um, what else is going on? What about you guys? Okay. <laughs> no high five. Uh uh. No, I said I didn't. No, no, no. High fives are $10,000. Do you know what the price point is on that thing currently? I do not know how much the Pepper Ball Life Flight costs. Um, uh, Nate's going to gonna Google that shits for us. I don't. But I can tell you things like its air source is CO2, and lo maximum loss, launch di distance is 60 feet. Capacity is five rounds, lumens 350, weight 1.75 pounds, size, other numbers. Do, do, do. <laughs> you know, they call these things non lethal. Man, if you imagine you some guys, you're like, yeah, you shot one in his mouth. <laughs> Choked him to death. That'd be fucking awesome. All right, we're streaming now. Okay, we're streaming. Yep. So you look at the back of my my camera now. Yep. 
Okay. So is is it? Are we got two streams going, or is it just this one? It, it says it's on the one that's called Let's Talk Motorcycles. <laughs> okay, there's another live stream going. I'm gonna shut this one off. There's another live stream going called Let's Talk Motorcycles. So go watch that. I'm gonna turn this one off. <laughs> Under 55 people. How many people are on that one? Uh, it says zero, but there's people in chat, so I know that's a lot. <laughs> 300 bucks. <laughs> 300 bucks for the lifeline. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Go over to the other one that says, let's talk about motorcycles. Go over to that one.